Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Reaction Extraction. I'm Ty, this is Dad, and today we're doing another um, Tears for Fears for you guys. So yeah. Tears for Fears, hey, uh, back from the concert. It was fab. Kurt and Roland sounded amazing. Garbage, the opening band, Shirley Manson. Uh, it was just fab. And uh, of course it's the Tipping Point World Tour, right? Yeah. We might as well do the tipping point. Uh, it's a great song. They did sing. They took a break kind of in the middle and did about four or five songs from the album. And whew, uh, they sound fab. They just really do. What was your favorite one from the album? Okay, so um, of the newer songs, Break the Man, uh, Long, Long, Long Time, mm -hmm. uh, they were really good. All right. It's almost like they never left. They're just older. Uh, so we're going to do a video for the Tipping Point because it's fab and uh, just excited to get into them. Great gig. I'd waited my whole life to see Tears for Fears and our paths finally crossed. And it was so worth it. <laughs> so worth it. So let's watch the video. Let's, let's do go. It. Shadow.
What up? All right. So uh, that was cool. It's cool to see some modern Tears for Fears. It is to see them in the context of a modern setting. Mm -hmm. That is really cool because it's totally them. Yeah. Um, I think production-wise, it's really good. The most interesting I think I've heard um, in a minute. And uh, probably the most interesting on the on the album as a whole. And I think uh, we often talk about what modern 80s music would sound like. Even we though do. it kind of has its own... 80s music kind of has its own sound. Right. And its own place and time. <laughs> but I know everyone kind of wonders. I think this is it because you have the fat snare mm -hmm. and you have the articulate bells and you have enough groove to move to so <laughs> i think it's the perfect formula for a, a modern 80s song sounding song wow uh, you're so you're so right on that we, d we do wonder in the context of some artists what would they sound like today and here here it is and the production is just so interesting there's so much going on in there yeah and they sound just fab mm-hmm yeah and tears for fears are legends it still makes me feel really good to know that an artist i like back your age yeah that they're still freaking great you know seeing them in concert for the first time at 50 when i would love to have seen them when i was 21 mm -hmm. you know when i knew they were awesome was just so you're right it was so great that it, in 20 what year are we in 2022 that tears for fears is relevant and they're making good music it just like warms my heart thanks for bringing that up yeah of course i, well, appreci um, I appreciate that yeah well this is a very interesting uh, i mean it's not often we get to do types of groups like these um, yeah. that's constantly putting out new music so um yeah well True. thanks for checking this out with gus uh thanks for checking this out Thanks for checking this out with us, guys. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thanks for checking this video out with us, guys. Uh, it's always fun. Let us know in the comments what you think of the song, the album, mm. and uh, leave any suggestions. And subscribe because we post every single day. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Bye.